What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Also hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new videos. Today, I'm going to be giving you a walkthrough tour of the box. So this is a 2002 GMC Savannah 3500 cutaway van I purchased a few months ago with the idea to turn it into an RV conversion. Main reason why I got this specific vehicle is because of the, the spoiler, the wind deflector on the top there. Originally it was white, I painted it black, has a Chevy. 350 V8 in it, dually. With everything loaded in it, it weighs approximately 10,000 pounds. Everything's locked up. This is my garage here. We'll get to that in a moment. Let's take a look inside. And my co-pilot for this trip is Princess. Say hi, Princess. So this is how you come in. And immediately right here on the right side is all of my solar my solar setup so I have my solar charge controller and my 1500 watt inverter and it goes down to the battery and plus I have a fuse box for uh, 12 volt DC stuff which is my vent fan and my water pump and also I wired in a surge protector so that plug in to anybody's outlet. And the battery is actually located underneath the truck right here underneath on the bottom. There you are. Pretty big battery. It's the equivalency of three car batteries in one. This is pretty big. All right, so let's go in and check it out in here. And the first thing is first the, the cockpit. So basically I left this uh, stock for the most part, OEM, uh, just to give it that work truck look. Um, the only thing I did upgrade on it was uh, I put a rear view camera in uh, and also I have a dash cam as well. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. I put a hard hat in here as well as a vest. I have a door that separates the cockpit from the living quarters. So when I close that up and you look inside, uh, you'll think it's just a work truck. And that's exactly what I wanted. This here is Princess's seat. She rides shotgun. I put pillows here. Uh, this way here she can see over the dash. Uh, Cause you know how dogs are. They like to look around. the seats are all it's actually a uh, storage so this is all my tools here and as well as here I have a couple of tool boxes um, that is my laptop bag and I also have an umbrella and there's also a chair over there as well always uh, remember your fire extinguisher as well as a smoke detector for safety uh, here's my broom it's a fold-up broom it extends out to a full size with a dust it has a dustpan as well Here is my shower as well as my toilet I store my toilet in here I could remove it in order to take a shower if I need to 
where I can go to the bathroom in here and it's like my bathroom. And this is my kitchen area, faucet with a sink, and this countertop I had made out of plywood uh, and epoxy. It's a DIY homemade one. Check out my other video that I have posted. It's a DIY uh, video on how I did these countertops. Not this specific one, but the ones behind me. I'll show you those in a second. Uh, I also have a shelf here as well, and another shelf up top. Put some of these uh, like acrylic plastic. I cut some strips and put them on there, and I screwed them in. This way here, I kept, I kept everything from falling off while I'm driving, so it's good for storing. Uh, blackout curtains uh, is, is a definite, especially if you want privacy. So over here, this uh, switch right here is actually for the water pump. Actually, under here is uh, is more storage, and then there's a false floor, and then that's all my plumbing stuff, uh, which includes my filter as well as my water pump and in here i have uh, more storage for my cooktop as well as some cleaning products and as well as a gray tank for just my sink water that is a seven gallon jug this way here i could remove it whenever i need to uh, if I need to wash dishes or um, wash my hands, uh, this way here, it's a lot easier to, just to remove it, to dump it, than it is uh, to have a, a full one underneath. Of course, uh, my refrigerator. And then over here is more storage. So I have uh, some pots uh, hanging up here, uh, as well as uh, some oven mitts and whatnot. Um, more storage and stuff. Uh, my electrical cord, a step ladder. That is my hot water heater. And that is to get hot water for the sink and the shower so that I can have hot water. And I uh, put a vent here as well just so I can vent it this way here. It's not too hot. I'd have to take all this stuff out if I was using that, at least for a shower. Um, of course, princesses, two bowls for food and her water. Right, baby? Here's more storage. I have my jump box and uh, some, uh, dirty clothes. These containers here, that's my dresser. I have a TV as well. Uh, I haven't even used it yet, but um, I only got it mainly for uh, hooking it up to my laptop uh, to get a bigger screen uh, rather than my 15 inch screen that I have. Uh, otherwise, uh, I guess you could use a fire stick or if you wanted to get some kind of uh, cable or anything like that, you could do that. And over here we have more shelves up top for storage as well as a cabinet that I made as well for storage and the counter of this cabinet here as well as this box right here are the two countertops that I had made in the previous video that I had just mentioned so go ahead and check that out as well and of course I have one outlet over here that's hooked to a, a strip and then on this side as well is another outlet right there. That's a GFI outlet just because it's close to water. And here is a bunch of storage. I have a bunch of food in these bins right here, uh, as well as some food on this side as well. Uh, stuff for Princess. Other random stuff. Princess's treats. She needs those. I also installed a light in here for nighttime so I could see what I'm looking for. Also, my towels are up here. I have a bunch of towels. My chair, um, I use that for when I use this, and I'll show you that in a second. I just lay it on the floor anytime I need to travel. Same thing with my box fan as well. Uh, so talking about fans, I also have a vent fan. It's a max air fan. It's just a vent fan. It does not blow in. It just sucks out, which is fine because with the windows open and this thing on full blast, you uh, pretty much have a, a nice cross breeze and everything. So that, and then I also have 
a little sunroof thing that I had put in. So we're here when I'm sitting on my couch here, my makeshift couch, or when I pull my bed down, which I'll show you that in a second, I can stare up out into the sky. So this right here is another uh, storage box or cabinet, if you will. Uh, but the, the unique thing about this one here is that it's actually a lift top. So when you open it up, it brings itself higher. And that could be used as my desk or a table for eating as well as a nightstand uh, or a bed support from when my bed's in the down position. Uh, it's, I also use it for storage, put additional things in there. Um, I could also use that as an ottoman as well when I'm sitting on my couch, I can put my feet up and relax. So I can use this for a multitude of different things. And this black box down here is actually incorporated into the entire truck uh, as well as um, the bed frame. Uh, well the framing of the bed and everything uh, so that um, so I installed that that's a bunch of extra storage in there uh, I'm not gonna open it up it's pretty big it's a bunch of stuff in there it's food and uh, knickknacks and screws and stuff like that so let me open up the bed and I'll show you uh, this is a Murphy bed by the way so let me uh, pull it down and I'll show you that so once everything's cleared off and this uh, lift top table is in the down position and this edge right here is clear of stuff then we can take down the bed and all we got to do is take this piece right here uh, so un unlatch it and that keeps it coming down on its own and then in the down position there is my bed and then I could take my pillows stir them on there or whatever there you go Also, I have a uh, little coat closet that I had made as well as uh, behind my fan here a shoe shoe rack thing or something I don't have very many shoes so it doesn't really matter uh, two pairs of shoes flip-flops and a pair of boots all right and we're back on the outside and so underneath this part of the truck here you know I don't know if you could really see it but there's a bracket I don't know if you can really see it, but there's a bracket there, and that holds my freshwater tank. I think you can barely see it a little bit. And that's a 30-gallon freshwater tank. And here is where my water fill is. I have a gravity feed as well as a city water feed or, or pressurized water feed. And then you can see in the wheel well here, another tank. And this one here is directly connected to the shower so only my shower water goes into this tank here also locking gas cap that's my vent for my hot water heater and then the final part of the tour is my garage as i call it and of course it's uh it's locked up and everything i took the lock off of it and everything so Pull this open. First of all, uh, that right there is my rear view camera. It's, uh, it was a reverse camera or a backup camera, but I, uh, I wired it into my marker lights so that they stay on constantly as long as my marker lights are on, being that I don't have a rear view mirror. Uh, so it's nice to have, especially when you're traveling around. And as for the rest of this stuff, well, I downsized from a house in a garage to a truck. 
So of course I have a bunch of lubricants, I have a jack, some jack stands. I have everything. <laughs> everything you could think of. I got a hose. There's a mat right up there. Actually, this is a mat so I can lay on if I need to work on something. On this side is, uh, this is my zero gravity hose for my fill, for my water fill, my tank. And this wall here is actually uh, sealed, uh, seals the truck off from the back here to the bed. So when my bed is in the down position, that wall uh, is actually this wall. So, but I wanted a garage area, a pretty big one too. And I, could, I, I fit a lot of stuff in here. But uh, like I said, it's stuff that, you know, I've already found use for a lot of it already. So that's how I latched the door. A little rod of a spring. So it keeps it locked up top. And on the bottom here, bolt latch. Just to keep it strong. So that when this is closed, the, this door needs to be sturdy. Uh, in order to close the other door. A cinder block here I put down so that I could step on uh, it's a pretty big step uh same for princess as well so i did make videos on the build as i was doing it, it took me about two and a half months or so to do this entire build uh, from start to finish like i said I, I took a bunch of videos but of course you know sd cards and stuff when i'm corrupt i lost a lot of data so i do have pictures and i will put a picture slideshow up as well uh, in the future of everything that i've done on this thing but uh, that's the walkthrough and that's that's the box. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Me and Princess really appreciate it. Until next time, guys, we're going for a car ride.